Good morning from the Disney Springs bus board. The uh, holiday music has stopped and we are back to the normal Disney Springs, kind of like hip hoppy techno music, which is fun, but you guys know what it means when we come to the Disney Springs bus board. We're heading to do another resort tour. Today, we're going back to one that has been requested, All-Star Sports. We've already done All-Star Music, and the All-Star Resorts are very similar, but there are three different resorts, so let's go check out All Star Sports. Here we are at bus stop number 21, waiting on the bus. We're the only ones here, which is kind of interesting because this is a very popular resort. Uh, I don't know if maybe this is a slow season or what, but we'll see. Well, maybe we'll be the only ones on the bus. King of the bus. King of the bus. The driver's not even on. I have the bus to myself. We've arrived at Disney's All-Star Sports. Oh, it's blocked by a sign. Once again, we run into the same issue of a resort not having a giant sign letting us know what resort we're at. I don't know how anybody can tell at these places. So when you first come in, the first thing that you see is this gigantic star. I'm assuming that's for All-Stars. And then we have the main lobby here. I found another airline check-in counter, so I'm assuming that they're at all Disney resorts because there's one right here. Let's go into the main lobby and see how it looks. It seems that we showed up right at check-in time because there's a big line of people waiting to check in here at the registration desk. I don't know what this desk is for. I would assume it's for more people to be able to check in, but it's not open right now. There's a foosball table over here. Let's see what else? There's a step and repeat. So you can get your picture taken, saying that you're at All-Star Sports. A hula hoop. There's a picture frame for you to take pictures with. A fruit ninja game out here, which is kind of interesting. I don't know why they put this one out here in the main lobby. A couple of places, I guess, for people to sleep. A little TV showing Disney Channel stuff for the kids. And then as we turn past the main check-in counter, We've got, well, all we're seeing are reflections of the stars, but these are all pictures of world-class athletes. It's pretty neat. Oh, yes, Kelly Slater, Muhammad Ali. And they've got some, some trophies over here. Uh, I'm assuming these are supposed to be screens, but they're not turned on right now. It just says learn more right there. That's fun. Uh, nondescript trophies. Varsity, local champion. Nice work on that one. And some fake grass down here. And then right next to this display, we've got Sport Goofy Gifts and Sundries. Inside they have a lot of ESPN and Sports Center stuff. I do like this 1979 hot dog eating champion shirt. It's kind of fun. Lots and lots of ESPN stuff. An exceptionally tall all-star sports koozie. Why is this thing so tall? It like it would encompass an entire can. Oh. These running Mickey socks are really fun. <laughs> They've got a whole rack of Disney themed sports balls. My favorite is this Mickey baseball. I like this mug, it's pretty neat. You can only tell that it's goofy by the hat on the inside. This is a 20, oh it says goofy on the back too. A $20 mug, it's very large too. And of course, all of the sundry stuff. So you've got regular toiletries like cough medicine and stuff like that. Drinks, beer and wine and then various little snacks and things like that. Some Entenmann's, some potato chips. What else? Candies. Nothing, nothing that would make an entire meal like we've seen at some of the other resorts, like frozen food section with sausages and burritos and stuff like that. Just a, a very small sundry section here. Look at that. That is an amazing poster. As we exit Sport Goofy, you can see a doorway here to the left that leads out to the bus stops, which is where we came in and we saw that large all-star sports sign. And then we turn to our right, where uh, check-in is to our right down this hallway. And let's head this direction, see what else we can find. There's another display, just like that one with the broken moving screens on it. And then a food court down here at the end called End Zone Food Court. Oh, this one's not broken. Look, you can see what the displays are supposed to look like. I don't know what, what, uh, maybe if you have your magic band on, it'll like say something or show your name up here. Let's see what they've had to offer inside End Zone Food Court. It mostly looks like good old American food, like you would get at a sports game. 
or anything like that. Except for gelato. Eh, you might be able to get some gelato at like a baseball game or something like that. You never know. You can definitely get chicken nuggets at a baseball game. And then Grandstand Spirits, which I don't know where that is, serves all kinds of margaritas and bourbon strawberry sours. Oh, they have pizza delivery to your room. How nice. So as soon as we walk into the main spot where you get your food, we come across all the dessert stuff. There's sticky buns here. So here's the gelato that we were seeing on the outside. And then we've got some delicious looking cupcakes and some cheesecakes and some eclairs and some donuts and some brownies. I like this. See, they're sticking with the theme, All-Star Sports. They've got sports Rice Krispie treats. This red frosting cupcake looks delicious. Although this peanut butter chocolate one looks better. It's just just it's just bread. Just in there with the cookies and stuff. Throw a thing of bread in there. Oh my goodness. Everything looks so delicious. Wow. I want to eat it all. Here in the very center section, it looks like you can order some custom sandwiches. They look pretty good. Very Disney prices. Plant-based chicken quesadilla. Well, that sounds interesting. And next to that, they've got the market, which is basically the grab-and-go section. You can get all kinds of beers and uh, just beers. Oh, a couple of little wines in here. I was going to say beers and wines, and I didn't see any wines, and then I saw them right there. Some pre-made sandwiches, pre-made salads, fruit cups, uncrustables, hard-boiled eggs, Greek yogurt. And then we got all kinds of drinks here and chocolate milks and fruit juices and kids' meals up here. And then for breakfast and stuff like this, all here are all the main fruit juices. We've got orange juice, apple juice, lemonade, tea, and then more sodas. And of course, a whole section of Mickey Premium Bars and various other Disney-themed ice cream bars. And then to the right of that is where you'll find all of the sports game fare. Hot dogs, hamburgers, chili dogs, veggie burgers, chili cheese fries. And then next to that, we have a whole section where you can get flatbreads. And then some really interesting choices over here, like chicken penne alfredo, bacon macaroni and cheese, pasta with meatballs. Oh, and then there's some more flatbreads there. Okay, looks pretty good. I'm a big fan of the Mickey Mouse shorts artwork. I like this a lot, it's very cool looking. I am a bit disappointed in Goofy, but I can live with him. Okay, so right across from where you get your food here, here's the entrance where we came into this area. And then here is Grandstand Spirits, a bar that has access both inside and outside. Here are some of the specials that they have at the Grandstand Spirit Bar. I like that they call this the Pour Board. And then the actual place where you eat is very similar to all of the other All-Star Resorts with a main center area where you get all your drinks. Just around the corner here is where you would order your food and pick it up. And they've got Mickey Mouse shorts playing on these TVs up here. And then lots and lots of seating over here. Back to where you would order your food here and then we turn to our left and we're heading out the door that we came in and going just across the way to the arcade. And you can see they've got some penny press machines over here, ID tags, the fuel rod section right here just outside the Game Point Arcade. And a lot of the fuel rods seem to be, at least at the uh, value resorts, next to the arcade. So if you're looking for a fuel rod at a value resort, check right next to the arcade. Let's go have a look inside the arcade here. Ooh, it's so dark in there. Oh, it's so warm in here. Holy cow. Like a thousand degrees inside of here. Everybody else is out and about playing all the fancy new games. This one's my favorite. Speed of light. That one's fun too. Go ballistic, eh? Oh, you're just like throwing balls at the screen. It's pretty fun. I like all of the games here. Oh, they have a cars game. I don't know. You can race as Lightning McQueen. This is a very extensive. This thing is making some weird noises over here. It's a very extensive arcade. What is this? Flight control? You're just. You're like working the tower at an airport. All right. I don't think I've ever showed the actual cost of the arcade games before, but here it is posted on the wall and how to use the machines to get a card 
to use on the arcades. So back out in front of the Game Point Arcade front entrance, and we're turning to our left past the penny press machines. There's a location here to get your caricature done, but there's nobody here doing them right now, so I don't know when that will be happening. And we're gonna head right out this door and we bump straight into the main pool. I like that the theming around the pool is all surf. We got wind surfing and regular surfing. They got a giant shark's fin over here. It's pretty neat. Right outside of the pool, I found a map for the New Balance running trail for this resort. Probably the most boring running trail I've seen at any Disney resort. It's like, just run in a straight line over here. Yay. It's not actually telling me how long this trail is either. All the other ones usually tell me how long it is. Also, I like to look at these maps because they tell me what the name of the location is for the front desk at each resort. So this right here, this is Stadium Hall. So I found out that the name of this pool is Surfboard Bay and each of these buildings are called the Surf's Up Buildings. This is number six and number one. The bathrooms here at this pool are called the Surf's Up Bathhouse and they do have a laundry room in there. There's a large area here next to Surfboard Bay that I don't know what it's used for, but it has a very nice design on it. This is where the DJ would sit, where they do the pool party stuff. I don't know what all these like tie downs are for over here though. And then right behind it, there's a kiddie pool right there. It's kind of hard to see, but up here on this sail for the sailboard, it does say surf's up. So you know what building you're in. Here's this giant shark's fin outside and then all the fish decorations and the waves across the top. And then next to the giant shark's fin, got this blue decorative sidewalk here and all kinds of plants that sort of look like ocean plants. And the sidewalk looks like a boardwalk out by the ocean. I love the theming here. Giant surfboards and everything. I feel like I'm out on the coast. Sea grapes, boardwalk, surfboards and fish. I think these are bass though. Those aren't, uh, those are freshwater fish. So just behind Surfboard Bay here, I've got the surf sub buildings on either side of me. And you can see the stairs are decorated like a lifeguard stand. Then we come back here to what seems to be like a main circular area where you can get to different sections of all-star sports. I think this is called Mount Mickey. From this center Mickey Mouse photo op, we head to the right into the Hoops Hotel section. And they've got giant, those things called megaphones that say rah on them. All kinds of sports banners or pennants up there that say different made up sports teams like the Sun Devils or the Hawkeyes or the Bearcats. And all kinds of basketball theming around the outside here. This is pretty neat. Oh, and these things are giant whistles. Huh, that's cool. Look at these giant basketball hoops. Do you think that you can actually play giant basketball here? Like with a big enough basketball, you could definitely shoot some hoops, right? I don't think I'd be able to pick up one of these basketballs though. They're very large. Oh, I just noticed that the handrails up here kind of look like lockers, like old locker room lockers. Look at the size of these whistles. They're so big. All the way at the back end of the hoop hotel section, turning to our left and having a look, there's a little waterway over here. I don't think you're supposed to walk back here, but it looks like many people have. So I'm gonna go back here and have a look. See what we can see. Oh, it's kind of a uh, kind of gross back here. All right, maybe you don't want to have a look back here. So the inside area of the courtyard is very heavily themed. Let's go around the backside and see if the theming continues. It does not. It is very minimal back here. Just a couple of pennants up top, and that's about it. I wanted to show you guys these new room occupied signs, rather than saying "Do not disturb." They say the room is occupied, and they also warn that hey. Disney maintenance or housekeeping can come in as long as they make their present known. They can come in at any time. It's pretty funny because as I walk close to the building here, I can smell what the hotel rooms smell like and it smells like a normal hotel. Not like other Disney hotels where you have like special scents or like you walk into the Grand Floridian and it has like a very perfume smell to it. As we leave the Hoops Hotel section and turn past the center Mickey photo op, we end up over here at Center Court. It looks like the theming is based around tennis. And this is a giant tennis ball tube. Pretty neat. Let's head over here and see what other, oh look, they got giant tennis rackets on the outsides of the buildings. You can see the giant tennis balls and tennis rackets. And these look like they are the referee stands. And there's a giant tennis court right here in the center with Huey, Dewey, and Louie playing baseball on it. And then Donald being the umpire way on the other side. Or no, maybe he's playing tennis. So Donald's playing tennis, but Huey, Dewey, and Louie are playing baseball. The roofs of the building are adorned with different 
tennis scores. And then the handrails around the outsides of the different floors look like tennis netting. So just like that, just like this tennis net. I'll tell you what, Donald, I would be just as mad as you if I were trying to play tennis and Huey, Dewey, and Louie were right in the middle of my court playing baseball. I do have to admit this little grass area here that's a fake tennis court is kind of soft. It's all fake grass. But I think that if I were a kid, I would love to play on this little grass court right here. So once we make it to the end of the tennis section over here, we turn to our right, we see another stairwell that looks like a tennis ball tube. And then off in the distance, we can see all-star music right there. And we'll put a link in, up in this corner to another video where we did a tour of all-star music. Over here in the parking lot is a tent where they were having the college cheerleading and dance team national championships. So as you guys may or may not know, they do use the all-star resorts for various conventions and sports events. And now we're headed back through the center court section back towards the center Mickey photo op area. And then we're gonna head to a different section of the resort that way. One thing that I should mention, if you're thinking about staying at the all-star resorts and going to Disney Springs, we parked at Disney Springs and it was about a 20 to 30 minute bus ride from Disney Springs to all-star sports pretty long bus ride. So here we are back at the outside area of center court near the main Mickey photo op turning past the large stairwell that looks like a tennis ball tube surfs up is on our left here. We're gonna head down this path towards more buildings. There's a nice little wooded area here between surfs up and center court. It's kind of relaxing back here but I bet there's a lot of bugs and it seems like there's a lot of golf cart traffic that comes through here too. So we can see a sign here that tells us some of the buildings that are left. So we've already seen Surf's Up, we've already seen Center Court. We have to go see Touchdown, Home Run Hotel, and the Playground. This is something that I've run into at a lot of the Disney resorts is there are a lot of golf carts towing things around and moving their way all around the resorts. Just to give you guys a wayfinding point so you know where we're at, All-Star Music right there, Dance Championships there, Center Court here, surfs up here stadium hall there that green building and the surfs up pool just on the other side of the surfs up building and we're heading over here to touchdown before we make it to touchdown we found the playground this is nice it's beach sand looks like a lot of fun for the kids to play on there's a large playground and then a playground for the smaller kids one more thing that I wanted to mention, if you're ever in Florida or at Disney and wondering what the land looked like before they built all this stuff here, this is it. This is what it looked like. They haven't changed anything here. These are all natural plants that would have been here before they put the buildings here. And then you can see they added some landscaping here, but for the most part, this is all scrub pine right here. Here we are back up at the Surf's Up buildings. There's the Surfboard Bay pool. Here's Grandstand Spirits that we saw the inside bar for. This is the outside bar. The end zone food court area and some of the outdoor seating for both the Grandstand Spirits and the end zone food court. And then we turn in this direction and we head to Touchdown! Also, there's a pretty random ping pong table out here. Like right before we head into Touchdown. Look at this giant football! masking the stairwell up. Of all of the different sections of All-Star Sports, I feel like this center section would get used the most to play the game that is represented by the theming here. So I feel like people are gonna play football in this football field when they're staying here. Oh, look, there's some people playing football down there. Taking a look at some of the theming, they've got giant football helmets in the center here, all kinds of like yard lines, markers, and then the handrails look like people watching the football game from the stadium. There's a beanbag toss game over here, or we call it cornhole, and then they also mapped out a play here. I think that if I liked football and I was staying here, I would try to get a bunch of friends together and run this play, see how it works. Throw to this guy, then he goes in and makes a touchdown. Sports. This is kind of neat. They've got two different styles of football helmets over here. They've got an older style with the vents in the top and not as protective. And they've got this new style over here, very much like the regular football helmets that we're used to seeing on Sunday night football. Sunday morning football? I don't know sports. And there's a giant Mickey right here in the center of the field. No other real theming behind the football helmets. Just a couple of random colored tiles up on the walls behind it. Kind of looks like confetti falling. Maybe they just won the big game. It does seem kind of funny that they do have some field goals over here and you could kick your football through those field goals and then it would end up in the other pool over there. Oh, somebody just kicked it. 
There's also a couple of sets of bleachers over here so you could sit and watch the kids playing in the field. As we head into the home run hotel section, rocking out to some junior senior over here at this uh, pool. It's pretty random. I do like this section. You can see here's the football section right here, touchdown. And then we head into home run hotel. They got a stadium there. We've got a scoreboard. We got all kinds of bunting and baseball bats and giant baseballs. And these are real baseball teams. So maybe all the other ones were real football teams and real basketball teams. I found a sign with all the recreation activities here for All Star Sports. Well, I'm watching lots of fun movies underneath the stars on the Surfboard Bay pool deck. Pool parties, sand arts, arts and crafts, name that tune. A lot of fun activities. I like this. Goofy is in the center of the pool with a cannon. What? There's a giant Coca-Cola cup over there. I think they should have a giant hot dog too to go with the giant Coca-Cola cup. Oh, oh I just realized the pool was shaped like a baseball diamond with all four corners being a base. And home base over here. I'm still not sure why Goofy has a cannon though. And I like this too because there is like a, uh, a cage behind home plate so that the foul balls don't go into the rooms. This section of the resort I think is set up most interestingly because you can see touchdown over there. Over here we've got Home Run Hotel and they've got these little walkways that connect the two buildings through the Coca-Cola cup. This Grand Slam pool seems like it's the most fun pool on property. Playing some Savage Garden now. We're out here by the giant Coca-Cola cup and I'm turning to my left. I almost fell off the curb. And we can see over here, all-star music. And right around the corner that way is where we saw that tent for the gymnastic tournament. Right outside of the gates of the Grand Slam pool are the hours 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. Also right outside of the Grand Slam pool is the bathrooms for the Grand Slam pool. And there's another guest laundry here. I wanted to show you guys the inside of the guest laundry, but wah, 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 it's locked. You guys can kind of see inside of there. Yeah, this pool's where it's at. They just started playing Spice Girls. Heck yeah. Jen knows that whole part. I don't know any of it. So we're making our way back through Touchdown, headed towards Stadium Hall. This place does not seem as big as I thought it was gonna be. I would be interested to know if all of the all-star resorts were built at the same time, like they built all three of them, music, sports, and movies, and then just themed them all differently, or if they built them one at a time. I don't know, I'm gonna have to do some research about the All-Stars because it's kind of an interesting area. Not as big as I thought it was, but still kind of big. Art of Animation and Pop are much bigger, I think. They feel bigger. But then again, maybe it's a mental thing because I did the tour of Art and Pop when it was hot out. Now it's cooler and I did the tour of All-Star Sports and it didn't seem very big at all because I'm not sweating my face off. So I don't know. Oh, I think these kids are gonna run the play. Kind of looks like it. He's standing on the O, ready to go. Look, there he goes. He's running the play. Ooh, did he get it? Oh, he didn't throw it. Or they don't actually have a football. Oh, came back over to the directory to make sure that we've seen everything, and we have. And I was right. This was called Mount Mickey here in the center. Is there anything that we missed out over here? We didn't show you the ATM. Oh, I'm sorry. I do have to admit, that other pool seemed like a lot more fun. I'm just saying they're not really playing fun music over here. Just came into Stadium Hall and I noticed that they have a 2018 year to be here pressed penny. That's pretty neat. I just realized this isn't a pressed penny, it's a pressed quarter. Oh, interesting. That's why it's $1.25 as opposed to the pressed pennies are 51 cents. Just inside of Stadium Hall, looking back at End Zone Food Court, I know that one of the food courts at the All Star Resorts has like a crazy hamburger that they put on a donut or a cinnamon bun or something like that. I don't know where that's at. If you guys could, leave me a comment down below and tell me where that is, because I think I need to try that one day. Now, I know I said there was one thing that we didn't show you guys, and that was the ATM right across from Sport Goofy. There's the ATM. There's also a machine here where you can buy SIM cards. I don't know how that works, but here it is. There's also a mailbox back here by the bathrooms, so you can mail your letters out. See, this makes sense. The airline check-in desk is just outside of where the Disney's Magical Express picks you up. So Disney's Magical Express is a free shuttle service if you're staying at a Disney resort that takes you to and from the airport. So there you have it. That was our tour of Disney's All-Star Sports. A lot of fun theming around this resort. 
it did seem like there was a lack of bars slash restaurants because there was just the one bar and the one restaurant but there were a lot of rooms around there and only two pools i don't know i felt like there were a lot more pools at art and at pop i think these are a little bit cheaper than art of animation or pop century i don't know i'll have to look it up and it all depends on when you're traveling too there might be a giant convention of gymnasts or cheerleaders or something else going on here at these all-star resorts because they do put a lot of convention and a lot of sporting event people up in these hotels and then they have the event over at wide world of sports or in the parking lot like we saw with the tent so maybe i don't know maybe if you call to make a reservation ask say is something going on is there oh there's a big old disney cruise line bus is there a cheerleading convention is there a gymnastics competition going on while i'm staying there and if there is i think that i would try to go and stay over at pop century or art of animation to try to avoid those crowds there might also be that same crowd over at art of animation and pop century so these are the things that you have to think about when you're staying at a value resort but all in all it's a very nice resort i would definitely stay here normal hotel accommodations a little bit disney-fied with some theming so with that being said we are off and we'll see you guys tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price